Hi everyone, today I'll be discussing and installing WinToys. If your Windows is slow and you want to deploy, tweak, or repair it, then you can use WinToys to help you get Windows back to how it should be. Your apps, services, tweaks, fixes, and more are all in one place, so you don't need to remember or search where to go. It's free, available in Windows 10 and 11, and you can download WinToys on the Microsoft Store. And that's what I like about it. It's not on some obscure place on the internet, it's on the Microsoft Store itself where apps are certified. So you can go to the Microsoft Store, apps.microsoft.com, and then you can put into the search bar, WinToys, and it's the first one here. I'm gonna click on it, and now I'm gonna install it. It's asking to open the Microsoft Store, open. Okay, it's done installing, I'm gonna open it. All right, and when you start it, a pop-up window comes up here and it describes what WinToys does. I'm just going to close it, but you can scroll through it. It will just discuss about what it can do. And here on the dashboard, and it would describe your system, the number of apps running, the processes, services, junk, the processor, video card memory, and network. And go on the left-hand side, and then open up. And then the first one here is apps. And then so it's going to show all your apps that you have installed. And you can go in here and uninstall apps, including those that don't have an uninstall option. So it's pretty straightforward here. So you can just click on it, and you can just uninstall, for example. And you can see all the different apps here by the pull-down here. Uh, next one. Going into the services, you can go in here and you can start, stop, and disable any services from running on boot, for example. So you can click on it and you can stop, restart, and you can set the mode. So automatic, manual, or disabled. And you can sort it by running, stopped, automatic, etc. So all the ones that are stopped, I'll show all the ones that are stopped. And then the next one is where we can go into performance, and this is when you can start tweaking. So the ultimate performance power plan. In general, I would keep this off unless you need the best performance all the time because it's going to consume a lot of power since it's going to be pushing your computer to the max all the time. Hags is for gaming, so you can try using this to improve your performance. So VPS, virtualization-based security. So I would keep this off. This can improve performance by up to 15% for your apps and for your games. So startup apps here, apps that are automatically running when the system starts. So you can pull it down. You can see what you don't want to run. For example, I don't want Cortana to run during startup or Microsoft Teams. I don't want it to start during boot. So you can disable those. And down here, you got visual settings. So you can adjust visual effects for best performance and transparency, you can turn it off. So gaming settings here. And if we go to the game mode and it discusses about game mode prevents driver updates, installations, stops notifications and lets you record your gaming sessions. It doesn't significantly increase the frame rate, but may cause freezes, drops or crashes in certain games. It's recommended to turn this setting off. So you can try turning this off to see if it improves your performance. So search indexing, I would keep this on. So it makes your searches go faster. Otherwise, it's going to slow down when you're doing a search. And the next one here on the left side we got is health. So fast startup. This will log you off the computer and go into hibernation mode, which is to save the state of the OS, including your open apps. I personally have it off as when I want to do a shutdown, I want to do a shutdown. And if I want to do a hibernate, well, I will do a hibernate. So I want to keep those two separate. Now, if you do have it on and don't see any issues, then you can keep it. So drive optimization is self-explanatory. It helps your device run more efficiently. Stored sense, also as well as self-explanatory, automatically cleans up some temporary system files. And repair, so you can go into here and you can do a check disk, SFC system file checker, and a DISM on your machine. So for example, check disk, you can click on it, and then you can do a scan or a repair. And then you got cleanup, it's self-explanatory. So if there's anything you want to clean up, taskbar, junk, file explorer, Microsoft store, DNS, and system restore. And then going to the last one here is tweaks. And there's some good stuff in here. And the first one here is desktop, change desktop related settings, like this PC icon, wallpaper quality, and more. So for example, widgets, if you don't like widgets, for example, showing the local news, weather, etc., you can turn this off. Going down to start menu, and if you want to include Bing in your search results, so you can turn it off or you can turn it on. 
So going down to File Explorer here, Show File Extensions. I personally like to have this on so I can see what kind of files that I have on my system. For example, JPEGs, MP3s, MP4s, text files, etc. So next one is show hidden and system items. If you're a general user, I would keep this off. If you know what you're doing and want greater control and are comfortable, then you can enable this option. So privacy, so I would keep all of these off. So this one here is telemetry. So this sends information to Microsoft and I don't want to send anything to Microsoft. App launches tracking, nope, I want to keep this off as well. Next one is error reporting. So it's gonna send errors to Microsoft if there's any issues. And But if you are a power user or you know what you're doing, I would keep it off and then just search, just use Google. There's a lot of information that you can use just to find out what is wrong instead of sending the information to Microsoft as it's unclear as how much information is gonna be sent to them. So I would rather keep this off. So the camera, I don't use my camera for anything, so I keep this off as well. So everything under privacy, I keep as off. And the last one here is about ads, and I don't like any ads, so I keep all of these off. And the next one is system here. And we got here, if you wanna show the clock with seconds, your clipboard history, uh, mouse acceleration feedback, and then there's God mode. If you're a general user, I would keep this off, but if you're a power user and comfortable with what you're doing, then you can turn this on. Uh, there's over 200 Windows settings and tools in a single list available on your desktop. God mode will be enabled as a folder with the control panel icon. Opening it will display a list with all its tools and settings. So if you're comfortable with doing it, you can keep this on. Otherwise, if you're not comfortable, just keep it off. So that's WinToys. You can use it to help optimize your Windows and get it back to how it should be. I hope this was useful and I thank you for watching. Bye now.